Howdy. So, before we get into this reading, can you do me a favor and let me know in the comments below how you are just doing, right? I really do want to know. I like to check in with my peeps. So, uh, let's just get into this reading, y'all. Hey, girl. Hello, my beautiful Pisces. How are you doing? My name is Simply Velka, and today I'm going to be doing your weekly tarot reading, Pisces. So if you find any tarot cards that resonate with you in this weekly reading, I would really appreciate it if you were to let me know in the comments below which cards do and how they do, because that's how I keep up with you, Pisces, is through the comments. As well, I would really uh, appreciate it, Pisces, if you enjoy this tarot reading or you just enjoy my vibe. If you were to give this video a like and subscribe, Pisces, because it does help out my tarot reading channel a lot. And I always am super appreciative of it when you guys take that extra step to support my tarot reading channel in that way. Um, and before we get into your reading, Pisces, I want to remind you to use your intuition because put it in perspective, just a man reading some tarot cards to you. You know your situation better than I ever possibly could, so take the cards that resonate and leave what doesn't, Pisces, because I'm not going to be offended by it, whatever way. I believe that my tarot readings, my tarot cards are just here to give you some food for thought, a perspective for you to consider, Pisces, but never making the decision in your life because it is your life to live, not mine and not these tarot cards, right? So with all that being said, Pisces, let's just get into this weekly reading for you today. Uh, I pulled some cards for you already just so I could get a general vibe of what's going on with you guys. Um, and I did pull an extra card for you, Pisces. You guys got the Justice card? the Libra card, of course. You guys know I'm going to always point it out when it's a Libra card. Uh, so things definitely coming into balance. Karma, um, whatever this means to you, if you subscribe to the thought process of karma, Pis Pisces, uh, definitely things coming into balance of where it's just like everyone kind of just getting what they deserve, right? So whether that's that could be a good sign or that could be a bad sign. You know, this is one of those things of what kind of energy have you been investing into lately? Have you been investing your energy, um, your pentacles into uh, positive things, right? Have you been trying to grow something? Have you been trying to, uh, what seeds have you been planting, right? Have you been planting those strawberry seeds? And those strawberry seeds are like um, relationships in your life? Are you been growing watermelon and those watermelons to your career? Have you been growing avocados and avocados is the passion project, right? Or whatever that is for you, the justice card is coming in to bring things into balance. So that you can kind of see this as like a harvest time, right? But I don't want to call it just a harvest time because it's one of those things of where it's just like, you know, you can manifest good things, but you can also, also manifest some bad things in your life, right? Uh, Pisces, so it's just one of those things of where it's just, I mean, you kind of know, right? Uh, so now, for some of you guys, Pisces, I am getting this sense here where you guys are coming out of some heavy pain. Um, but this pain almost was like uh, what motivates you guys to really start kicking. Uh, it's what kicks you guys in gear and really starts uh, having a lot of forward motion come hand for you. Um, I say you're experiencing a lot of pain right now, probably are coming out of pain, rather, Pisces, because of this Three of Air card. Now, this Three of Air says, great sadness, take time to heal, um, the need to forgive yourself or other people. So, Pisces, this is just like a time of where, um, especially with this Justice card, maybe you, if you feel like you've been wronged in a situation or you haven't, you feel like you, this is more so a specific message for my Pisces that um, they feel like maybe like they're like wrongfully terminated or wrongfully like i just keep on getting like wrongfully like i don't know if like someone's like spread gossip or something pisces usually i'm not like the the person to like feed energy into those types of narratives but it does feel like the sense of where it's like you feel wronged in something and like no one's like holding whoever's like wronging you to accountable like it's you feel like whatever like uh, you know, you may feel like Pisces that there's just like a natural order of the things. If someone does something wrong, they get held accountable for it. They get, um, you know, if you do something illegal, you get go to jail, right? And it feels like in, it's not so black and white with some situation with you that you didn't really get closure on because you're just like, why did this happen, right? Um, and you feel like justice wasn't served, right? You feel as if like they just got away with it. Um, I do get the sense that it's not for too long, right? 
And do you feel like you're going to get closure in this situation? Um, but I don't know if you're going to be there to see it. I'm going to be honest, because probably I'm repositioning myself. If you're wondering why I'm like fidgeting and such, my legs falling asleep, Pisces. Um, so yeah, I don't know if you're going to be the one that's going to see it because it's like spirits trying to bring this message to you. Uh, Pisces, so where it's just like, okay, yeah, we have just like justice is going to be handled. Like they're going to get theirs, like whatever over here. Right. But there are no, like this situation is dead to you at this point, Pisces. Spirit's really trying to just get you out of this environment almost, because then you have this eight of air coming in for you. And this card says an illusion of being trapped, a lack of self-confidence and afraid of taking action. This is where like spirits trying to just get you, get you going, right? Trying to let you know, it's just like, it's almost like the sense of where it's just like promise you things are going to work out in the way that they need to. You may not see it and understand how it's going to work out um, and bring itself back into balance. But um, again, like is one of those things that you just need to kind of like trust in the process. Um, Pisces, this is one of those situations now where it's just like any kind of, um, it's kind of like the ball is in your court now, right? Anything that happens at this point forward, even if you felt wronged in the situation, if you choose to be stuck on that situation, you have no one to blame but yourself at that point, right? Pisces, say this with love, right? You know, I'm not saying this from a judgmental place. I'm able to say it because I've dealt with it from my own way. We're all human. Pisces, right? But it's one of those times where it's just like, especially if you feel wronged in the situation, naturally as humans, like you want to see, like you want to call out the bad behavior and be like, no, this isn't okay. Like you should not be able to just get away with this, right? But you kind of have to just remind yourself, Pisces, that it's just like, you know, that happened. You may not be the one to lay down the law, but you got to just be the one to rise above. When, you know, Michelle Obama says the quote, when they choose to go low, we choose to go high. It's something along the lines like that, um, Pisces. It's a tough pill to swallow when you feel as if, especially someone that wrongs you is just not going to get their just desserts. But um, again, these cards really are trying to come in as a message where it's just like, you know, your obsession with the, trying to bring justice to something could actually be the downfall and actually be impacting you more than the injustice itself right this is really what i was trying to get at so it's kind of spirit saying pisces where it's just like they know your potential and they like know you could be doing so much more and this situation over here is just not worth your energy right because then you have uh the eight of water or the eight of cups pisces this card says a desire to move on from a situation the search for something more meaningful uh, spiritual and emotional growth. So yeah, you're just trying to move on from this situation. There is just this constant pulling of where it's just like, yeah, this pain happened. This wrongdoing happened. That sucks. Doesn't mean you moving on from the situation doesn't mean justice isn't going to be served in this situation. It just means that you are not going to be part of serving that justice, uh, Pisces. So truly, like the best thing you can do at this time for yourself is to just move on from the situation. Keep it moving because they're going to get theirs, Pisces. Uh, we have the King of Fire coming in here. Focus, 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 right? Uh, communicate with the vision uh, and be a leader. Advice from someone creative. And I feel like this is paired with the three of fire for you. Uh, abundance, things are looking very good. Have patience at this time and making long-term plans. So, you know, with this king of fires, this is what Spirit's trying to like remind you of. is like having a focus on the bigger picture. What it is that you're trying to work on. Yeah, the situation over here, put it to rest. Keep it moving because you're trying to have your eye on the prize, right? Because I really do get the sense that you're going to be... I always like to use the example with the three of fire or like the three of wands. Where it's like if you're traveling out in sea for a long time, for months, you haven't seen land, side of land in a long time. This three of wands comes in here as the side of land. But you kind of need to like realign your focus, right? I used the example for, um, I think it was Aries last week. There's like a video titled, like you're about to get your diamonds. And I used the analogy uh, for them, Pisces, where it's just like, there's like this analogy where it's just like, there's two miners and they're just digging a tunnel. And there's like one miner who like ends up getting exhausted because they don't find anything for a long time. And they just kind of leave their 
mining coal or whatever. I know there's like an actual word for it, but I don't know the word for it right now. Um, and then they didn't know this, but just behind uh, where they were digging, they had all these diamonds that they like would have hit if they didn't give up. And so then you have the other person who doesn't give up and they reach their diamonds and all of that. And so in that analogy, that was like, I was using that analogy for Aries, where it's just like they're about to get their diamonds through a bunch of hard work. This message, I probably will just use the same title uh, for this video. <laughs> You'll know Pisces, obviously, if you're in this video. Um, this sense where it's just like keep pushing through i kind of see you about to put you about to put down the mining pick um pisces and spirit's just like now hold up now if you keep on mining hold your you know focus now remember the vision because you're about to spot land you're about you're about to spot those diamonds real soon pisces so just keep on pushing through um, this is part of the reason why you don't want to distract yourself with this other situation anymore pisces because again your story is about to get so much better like really soon you may not see it right now but that's just because like you're not seeing what spirit's seeing you're not seeing those miners don't see what we're seeing in the imagery of it um where they see the diamonds right you can even just google it i'm pretty sure it's easily googleable because it's a pretty popular like reference for people um but yeah now pisces talk about all that honey now let's see what blessings are on the way or in the works for for you guys this week pisces let's see here i'm gonna pull one more card all right pisces let's see the blessings that are on the way <laughs> on the way for you guys so you guys have the ten of swords the six of swords with the lovers card so in this sense, it's through your hard decision, through some type of decision, tough decision being made, right? You know, Ten of Swords. I know this is going to be such an annoying message for some of you Pisces, because you don't want to hear me repeat the same message, especially if some of you guys don't want to move on from a situation. But truly, this spells it out in such a way where it's just like, so you're making the hard decision of moving on from a situation and putting distance between it with the Ten of Swords and the Six of Swords, you through you putting peace to this decision and, and being able to just be like accept whoever put these swords in your back um pisces you know being able to just move on from it right as the six of swords moving on and just putting distance between you and just keeping it moving right i really just see that's how you welcome in those blessings that we were just talking about before um again there's just this constant repetitive message for you pisces to just keep it moving just whatever like there's just something that like yeah like pisces the spirit's really trying to have you just disengage really that seems to be like the theme of the week uh theme of the message for you this week pisces is just to disengage so um yeah i actually kind of want to pull a couple more cards on this just to see uh if we can get a little bit more detail outside of like what we already got so pisces you're gonna just roll your eyes at me i promise you uh, so the cards we got extra cards knight of cups five of cups and then the hierophant card <laughs> you know five of cups again it's talking about the distancing uh pisces definitely just putting something to rest right knight of cups and the hierophant comes in where it's just like you're putting it to rest because you have what was i saying before you knew you know pisces that your chapter your story is about to get so much better so you're no longer going to be interested in feeding energy into that old thing hierophant comes in where it's just like again just kind of being the bigger person of where it's just like focusing on your long term rather than feeding like your um your ego right because it's like you'll get that instant satisfaction that instant gratification being petty right whatever your situation is but in the long run it's not going to feel good to you in the long run it's not benefiting you if anything it's doing you a disservice right pisces so yeah, it's funny how this these messages are just like extremely very much so focused in on one way pisces so spirits really i guess being a little bit impatient with y'all and y'all like transitioning from a situation um but now pisces what is it that you should be looking out for this week what is it that you should be working on this week let's see do, do, do. 
All right, so we have the what it is that you should be uh, looking out for this week, Pisces. We have the Two of Swords, the Moon card, as well as the Ace of Cups here. So, how are we breaking this down? This is almost just like the sense of Pisces where it's like, don't keep yourself closed off just because of the unknown, right? This is almost just like the sense of where it's like the idea of going down either path sounds extremely scary because you don't know about it. You don't know the details of it, right? It's all just unknown and unfamiliar, uncomfortable to you, Pisces. And so because of it, you don't entertain the opportunity or the idea of doing either path. And so I kind of see you at this place of just kind of like a keeping yourself closed off among anything that's new. Anything that you deem as foreign, you just don't want to welcome in. And, you know, when reading in between the lines of tarot, right, as that's the job of what you do, um, if spirit's really honing in on this message of where it's just like, don't keep, you know, lessen your guard when it comes to like foreign things, new energies and new stuff coming to you this week, right? Not all of it's going to be bad. Um, just because you don't know everything that's going on, just because it's unfamiliar, it doesn't mean it's inherently bad. So just because you don't know the whole picture, do not allow that to keep you at a standstill in your life, right? Kind of just accept that there's going to be surprises that you experience in the world and on your spiritual path, Pisces, because that's just life in general, isn't it, right? So with all that being said, Pisces, now let's get close out this reading with your Oracle messages. We're going to be doing three three moon uh, oracle cards for you, Pisces, and then we're going to do three animal oracle cards for you. So just give me one moment. <sighs> All right, we got your three moon cards. Now let's do your animal oracle cards. Let's see, do this one and this one, and then this one. All right, so let's do your animal oracle cards first, Pisces. You guys have the Bora card. Face your problems head on with confidence and courage and you will emerge victorious. You have the Tiger card. You're being called upon to provide leadership, so trust that you're capable of doing so. Funny how you have, this is another card of leadership, right? Pisces, because you have the King of Fire or the King of Wands, which also talks about leadership. So very, it's very much so you're needing to take the lead on stuff, taking the charge, right? And then you have the unicorn card coming in, Pisces. This card says, indulge in your creative side, uh, imaginative and magical side through some, for through some form of artistic expression. Maybe this is where it's like your sign, Pisces. This is your sign to um, do that creative project of sorts. Uh, now we have for your moon cards, Pisces, we have the full moon in Scorpio, time to release negativity. Uh, the new moon in Aries, it's time to take action. And then you have the blue moon, believe in the impossible, right? So the, the impossible being like, believe in the fact that you could possibly mine all those diamonds. You just have to keep on mining just a little bit more, right? Remember and remind yourself that you're going to get your diamonds, release the negativity attached to it, release the narrative or the idea that you wouldn't be able to get to that, right? Because all that's doing is slowing you down when it's your time to be taking action it's your time to be really taking forth and being the leader right really taking this challenge head on uh pisces so now uh with all that said let's see your final card uh see what stone or crystal that would be best or most fitting for you this week to be working with pisces or honey you could just be looking for uh, someone to enable you into buying a stone or crystal and i will be that person for you pisces uh either way let's see what stone or crystal is for you Mukite Jasper. Mukite Jasper is a stone that I actually know just because of the name of it and I joke around with my friends about Mukite Jasper. It's kind of like an inside joke for us actually, um, but I don't really know too much about Mukite Jasper. Uh, so look up the properties of Mukite Jasper Pisces and see it, how it would correlate with you and your energy. Maybe it would be a perfect match for you this week or maybe just in the long term, right? Uh, but as the reading that I have for you this week, Pisces, if you enjoyed this tarot reading, be sure to let me know in the comments below. Be sure to give this video a like and subscribe, Pisces. And then also, 
I do weekly readings for all the zodiac signs more than just Pisces. So if you have a friend that's into tarot, or even if they're not, uh, send them one of my videos and maybe they'll find a message that resonates with them. But until next time, Pisces, I love you so much.